Yes. So um, the I got a grant through Women in, in Film to make the the short <laughs> and having a proof of concept for a larger feature project is really, really helpful to get people to see your vision and to understand what you're trying to do, um, especially for kind of a wackier story like this one and, you know, monster love story. Um, it's way easier to get people on board if they see this, they see the visuals um, and they, they understand the tone. So once I had that, um, I got, um, a production company, Merman, Sharon Horgan's production company involved. And then Kayla Foster, the film's producer, um, brought in um, Bombo Entertainment and Shannon Riley, our, our financing uh, division. And, um, and so it was many, many years of pushing this up a hill and convincing people that it was worth it to turn this into a feature. But um, I had a lot of people who believed in the story. So um, the team kind of just was ever expanding. And then eventually we kind of had enough support um, to really get this off the ground as a, as a feature. And, um, and yeah, I had, I had been making a, shorts and, and, and trying to get awards and go to good festivals for many, many years. So it was kind of, I had a, I, a thick resume at that point to show our financer and saying, you know, take a chance on me. And I've been doing the work and hopefully I'll give you the best product um, possible. I, I mean, I was such a fan of Tommy's when we met on a, on his TV show. Um, I was acting on it and I just thought he was so talented, so smart, so kind and when I kind of started move, moving into more filmmaking and I, um, I, I had this idea and I had always envisioned the monster character to be kind of like this Tom Hanks, Billy Crystal type. Mm. And Tommy really has that in him. I think he's just a, such a classic romantic lead. He's so funny. He's so, um, he always gives such heartfelt, honest performances and, I ran into him at a yoga class and I heard him speak and I was writing the script for monster. And I was like, I wonder if he would ever be interested in playing this character. And so I kind of on a whim asked him and he was like, totally, I've no one's ever asked me to play a monster before. I would love to do this. And then once he did the short film, um, I just really, he did such an amazing job. I, I couldn't imagine anyone else playing the role in the feature version of it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, well, I think I, I was acting in my 20, or, you know, my twenties, but I realized that I felt much more comfortable behind the camera. That's where I really felt like, um, I was, you know, delighted by the challenges coming at me, not terrified of the challenges coming at me, which is acting always made me extremely anxious. Um, so I thought maybe it wasn't a good fit for, for my career. Um, mm -hmm. So that's I that's when I moved into filmmaking and I and I felt you know much more comfortable and and um, excited about my my future when I I started writing and directing more, um, but because of this is such a personal story and the character is so um, is based on something that I went through you know I really shared that with Melissa so she we just, you know, had a lot of conversations about what I went through, how she related to it, you know, how, you know, how she would approach this character differently than I would approach a character. And I think we, we found like a middle ground that um, wasn't me and wasn't her and like somewhere that it was a combination of the both of us, um, which we felt really confident about and proud of um, to put forward into the movie.